seasonal depression. Let's talk about it. I'd like to say that we all get it, we all deal with it, and that it's hard on all of us. I really hope that's not the case, but in this day and age, it's most likely to be the case, unfortunately. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever the fall and winter seasons come around, I just, seriously, just like downhill. My confidence, my self-esteem, my energy, my optimism, my will to go outside and do things, and it's really hard to adapt to the weather changing. It just affects us in a way that is not great. It doesn't feel the best. So I am trying to keep that from happening and only go up. We're only going upwards. And I have a list of sorts of things that I want to do for my mind, body, soul, all of that good stuff, just to make sure that you know this transition into the cold weather is not as stressful and hard as it can be. And I really just want to feel good about myself going into the new year. And I usually don't feel like that. And I want to do that this year. And maybe there's certain things in this video that you could also do yourself that might you know help in the same way that I'm hoping it's gonna help me. One of them is actually today. I'm going to be getting my hair done. This shit is dead as fuck. It's a tragedy. Right here, we have a list of a handful of things that I'm going to be doing for my winter glow up. And I hope that you guys enjoy watching. Let's glow the fuck up. Let's fucking do it. I feel like I cuss too much for YouTube. Like powerful women use powerful words, okay? I should probably go. It's time to glow the fuck up. Let's go. I think this is where we cue the post salon photo shoot montage. This is like a week later after getting my hair done. Here we are a week later. I feel like a whole new person. I feel amazing. Now I'm gonna go to the park with my puppy and spend some time outside, soak up some sun before it sets because it sets so early now and bring like a blanket and a book and just have some brain time, some outdoors time and some mother-daughter time with my pup. I'm gonna change first because it can get messy when you have a 75 pound dog who likes jumping on you. So <laughs> let's go do that. Another green item, very on brand. best piece of advice that I can give you and the one thing that has been helping me the most with not getting stuck in that downward spiral that I mentioned at the beginning is making your list and doing the things that you told yourself you were going to get done. Commit to it really commit to it. There is only one person that is in charge of your happiness and that person is you. So it's important that you hold yourself accountable and do the little things that you have to do to get by like making your bed or doing a small workout. And if you're anything like me, you don't work out as often as you should and you have horrible form, then doing something like this is going to make you feel just that much better, just that much more proud of yourself and the things that you accomplished with your day. Um, I did not accomplish dropping it low and looking good while I did it, but we keep it real on this channel and we're going to continue to keep it real by including spontaneous dance moments. <laughs> Back to accountability, I know it can be easier said than done. Some days I have found it difficult to even check one thing off my list. However, what I have been doing to attempt to hold myself accountable is keeping my list out, whether it's on my desk or on my bedside table, just making sure that it's visible so that I have a consistent reminder of the goals I have for myself to ensure that I have good days has really been helping. And as you can see, there has been nothing too extravagant about my list. It has primarily consisted of little small things to do throughout the day to make sure that I'm not just stuck in bed all day because as a Torres, that is essentially what I would really like to do. But unfortunately, that doesn't make me feel good at all. 
A little post Thanksgiving hike, work off that green bean casserole. One of my favorite quotes is, you are the energy you create. The cool thing about that is that you can fabricate your energy to be anything that you want. It's all up to you. It's all in your hands. Energy is everything. Energy is you. You can be whatever you want to be. And if you want to be a hot bitch in 2023 like I do, <laughs> then take that energy and make it your bitch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.